I kind of want to touch on the subject of like why I'm an artist. Okay. You know, um, the best way I can kind of put it is that you know, when I'm painting, it's kind of like there's a chaos that's, that exists around me that I'm bringing order to, you know? If that's, it's like I'm, I feel like sometimes I'm standing in a, in a storm and, and there's all these things flowing around me and part of that is kind of like reaching out and grabbing the pieces that I can use and making something of that. You know, there's all these things flowing around me. There's all these thoughts and ideas of stuff that are, are just there. And it almost just kind of, you know, feels like an energy. And so when I'm painting, I'm, I'm kind of bringing order to that. You know, I'm reaching out and grabbing the pieces that I can get a hold of and bring order to it. And, you know, through, through the many years that I've been painting, it's, it's been a process of learning how to better control that energy. Uh, and, and condense it to something that someone can understand. Because it's, 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 it's higher than the artwork itself. You know, it's, it's something that is just, it's kind of an enigma. And I'm, I have to go through this process of just kind of bringing it down to be tangible and to make sense. And so for me, that's really what art is. It's, it's bringing order to that, to that bit of chaos um, that I feel like surrounds me sometimes. And so, it's just, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's something that I get a lot of enjoyment out of. And it's always a pleasure for me when I make something and someone looks at it and gets the point that I was making. You know, or they get that feeling, that emotion that I felt at the time. Um, and so that's really why I paint. You know, it's why I make art. It's, it's for the enjoyment of others. It's so that they can look at something and feel that connection, that shared experience of, Oh, I know what that is. I know what that feels like, you know, and that's really why I do it. Uh, so there are two artists who inspired me to do this art, and that is Solly Smoke, who's a South African artist, and Van Gogh. Their process in which that they used colors and their values is just something that I was really interested in because uh, it, it kind of gave a freedom to it. Um, and when I, when I went into it first starting to paint, uh, I, I realized there was quite a learning curve in terms of what colors I had to pick, what values I have to use, and really color theory. Because uh, I think Van Gogh especially is just a master class of color theory. Um, it, you know, it's, it's knowing the minutia of what colors to pick and, and how to use that to your advantage. Um, and that's something certainly that I've been learning a lot more of since going down this path of doing these styles of paintings. Um, but above all of that, it's just, it's really fun, you know, it, it allows the artist themselves to, I think, put more of their own touch into stuff because they're not held down by, you know, the realism of the subject and you can just add your own flair. Uh, so the photograph I work from is very important in this whole process. Um, you know, touching on earlier what I've, what I've said about colors and values, you know, the photograph is my map for the values I'm going to be using, meaning the scale from dark to white, right? It's how light or dark something is. Obviously, I get to choose the colors I'm gonna use, but when I'm looking at that photograph, it gives me a very clear idea of, okay, how dark do I need that blue in that one spot to be? And so I can't necessarily work with just any photograph. I, I, I do need an exact range of values that I can use. Um, and that's why it's so important that, you know, I either take the photo myself or I have someone come to my studio and I take the photo so that I can really get down that exact map that I want uh, and I can work with that photograph. I think there's just something about owning an original artwork that is, it transcends even the piece itself sometimes. And it can create that level of inspiration in others and, and, and livingness in others that you're not gonna get from anything else.